Hello everybody, I'm John and on this product spotlight we're going to take a look at the second locomotive that my friend James let me borrow for product spotlight. So let's head over to the workbench and take a look. All right, so here's what we're looking at today. This is an HO scale SD70ACU from Athern. This is from Athern's Genesis line. And strangely, I'm not able to find this locomotive on Athern's website. So it's possible that they've already run through them. Now, if you look at Athern's website, you'll find the TAN military unit that we looked at last time. That's the sister unit to this one. It's number 7021. This obviously is number 7022. So if you look at Athern's website, you'll find the SD70 ACUs for $249.98 without any DCC decoders in them. And then they go for $339.98 with DCC and sound. These have Tsunami 2 decoders and Ather now uses LEDs, which is really cool. Out of the box, this comes with everything you'd expect, including a owner's manual, warranty card, all that good stuff. In the owner's manual, you'll find all kinds of very important DCC decoder information. So you'll want to look through that. Anyway, your best bet as usual is to go to Athern's website or to your favorite retailer and find out if they have the one you're looking for. The paint and markings on this model are superb. Everything from the 7022 to the logo to the Beaver logo. This is uh, really well done. You can see there's a little yellow ribbon on the front there. We'll see that better when we look at the front of the locomotive, looking at the cab detail. But something else to mention on this is the grills are especially good looking. And they appear to me to be some kind of a etched metal over plastic separately applied to the side of the car body. It's just a very good look. It has a lot of depth to it. And then something else that I've noticed is there's a lot of detail showing from the underside, under the sill, all up in here. There's piping and all kinds of cool stuff. There's a lot of extra detail showing around the fuel tank. that's sort of picked out with the different colors, paints. And then another thing I thought was really cool about this, aside from the fact that it has see-through steps leading up to the cab, but these little doors here are done in such a way as it looks like they would open. If you could shrink yourself down and get down on this locomotive and push or pull on them, it looks like they should open. And I'm not sure how they did that. I know there's a way to add detail parts like that as separately applied pieces where they install the pieces from the inside. And that gives you that sort of look around the edge like there's a gap there. Uh, if I had to guess, I'd say that's probably how they did that on this model, but I wanted to point it out because it looks really good. I think it's safe to say that Athern Genesis has stepped up their game. And what I mean by that is that they're showing details that they didn't used to have. For example, the armrest on the cab. That's something that didn't used to be there. It's commonly found on these models now, and it looks great. In addition to that, you have a lot of separately applied thin wire grabs. The sand filler hatch is also a particularly nice looking detail. And then there's a little grab up here. There are little grabs above the windshield wipers. The windshield wipers, speaking of those, are separately applied very thin parts. Something on this model that I particularly like is the fact that the steps, besides being see-through, also have these little pin stripes on the edges. I call those safety stripes. In any case, it looks really good. And then if you look over here, you can see that there's an uncoupling lever. There's also some grabs on top of the plow. And then your hose details fitted through the gap in the plow, which also looks especially nice. Let's take a look at this from the other angle. So from this angle, you can see again, all the little hoses coming through the gap in the plow. You have an MU receptacle here. You have the MU cable that's not being used. I like how they highlighted the ends of the uncoupling lever because otherwise it's hard to see, right? I mean, you can see it down in here, but having the ends of it highlighted makes it a much, much easier to spot. And then also the grabs on top of the plow 
being highlighted makes them easier to see too. But also from this angle, you can see there's more wire grabs installed. That looks especially good. And then also from this angle, you can see how thin the windshield wipers are. A look at the fireman side reveals a lot of similar detail, you know, with the sort of etched looking grills. There's some back behind there. I like this little detail on the uh, side railing. It looks really cool. Those little, it looks like a little perforated piece of metal there. And these, I think these are probably battery boxes. I don't know that for sure. You tell me if you know. But these also look like they have that effect where maybe they were installed from the inside because you see that little gap sort of in between them. It looks like there's a, a gap there, like they actually open. They don't, but it looks like it. it. Looks really good. And then also on the side, you can see that there's an armrest here. And then I want to show you this. The piping is under here as well. And also extra details on the trucks, including the chains. I think the chains are especially a cool touch there. That's something that, you know, they didn't really have to put that on there. And this is actual chain too. This is not some plastic stuff. It's metal chain. And I just imagine what it's like in the factory for someone to have to install those things. They're so small. And then since we're looking at it, I will point out that there is a separately applied brake wheel here. That's a very fine, thin brake wheel. And if you look at the back there, you can see that there's also a really nicely done grill detail. So just wow. So a quick look at the rear reveals similar detail to what we saw in the front, including some really thin metal wire grabs there. And the steps on the step well also are see-through, just like they are in the front with the little safety stripes. And something I should mention about this model also is that the surface of the walkways has tread. It's not just a flat, plain, you know, piece of plastic or something. There's actually detail of a treaded walkway. Then since we're going all the way around the model, I would show you this angle of the back as well. And while we're looking at it, I will also point out that there's a really thin wire grab here and more of that grill detail that has a lot of depth to it. So we'll have a quick look at the roof. There's not a ton of stuff to look at, except the fans have nice depth. You'll see another grab up here. If you look carefully, but all the fans do have some pretty good depth going on. The horn casting is a nicely detailed casting. It looks to me like a brass casting, but I don't think it is. I think it's just a plastic part. Uh, don't know. I didn't look at their website to find out if it says anything about a brass horn casting. It wouldn't surprise me if it is, but I don't think they would use brass for a general production model like this. And then you can get a better look at the PTC array on the roof here, which I want to show you something about the cab roof that's pretty cool. And that is that the cab roof comes off. It's held on by magnets, which you can see here and here, and then you can see it has a fully detailed interior. And to put it back on, you just tuck it under the front headlight area there, and it's held on, like I said, by magnets. I think that's a really cool feature that Atherin has included on their SD70 ACE models as well. Great way to get in there and detail stuff or add cab figures, whatever you want to do. All right, it's time to run the engine and see how it does.
The headlight comes on with F0, and it is directional. The ditch lights come on with F6, and it's kind of hard to see from this angle, but there are also running lights that come on whenever the power is applied, and that looks especially cool. Then now we'll look at the rear headlight. Again, comes on with F0 when it's in reverse, and then the ditch lights operate on F6. The lights are pretty bright. I think it looks good. And then there's also a running light under the front truck of the fireman's side as well as the uh, front truck of the engineer's side. I like these running lights. They kind of give it a more complete look because, you know, when you see an engine in real life, they have those lights. As with the other SD70 ACU, I think Athern has done a really good job with this one. I find it a little strange that I wasn't able to find this locomotive on their website. That leads me to think that maybe it was a very limited run and they already sold out. I don't really know, but I would check with your local dealer to see if they have them, if this is one that you want. Everything about it screams Genesis though. The detail on it is impeccable. And as with the other one, I think the chain on the fireman side rear truck is just really a, a cool detail to put on there. And that's something that modelers used to have to do. And I can't imagine working in a factory dealing with stuff that small. So good job, Athern. I'll see you all next time.